Nigerians, this is the letter of intent we have submitted to INEC following the provisions of the Electoral Act under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to be registered as a participating political party in the forthcoming 2023 general elections in Nigeria. Congratulations to Nigeria. Speech delivered on the 2nd February 2021 at INEC National Headquarters in Abuja by the National Chairman of Nigeria Youth Democratic Party, the NYDP, on the event of our official request to INEC to register the NYDP as a political party to participate in the 2023 electionary process. Distinguished gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you all yet again to another press briefing on the activities of our great party, the NYDP. At the time, our nation is experiencing a drastic change in the formation of the most powerful political force since we became a nation in 1960. This press briefing is gathering to inform the Nigerian people, the most especially the youths of Nigeria, on how far we have fared so far as caretakers of their great party, which is given to us as a trust to build since 2019, when we formed the movement for the recovery of our economy, coupled with a solid political front that can kickstart a credible democracy for Nigeria come 2023. It is honestly pertinent to inform you that our great party, Nigeria Youth Democratic Party, the NYDP, just officially submitted its request and intent letter to be registered under the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as a political party to participate in the 2023 electionary process and activities as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria provides for all qualified and interested political group under the influence of the Electoral Act as amended by law. The submission of the NYDP letter to INEC provides a solid bedrock to providing the youth of Nigeria the full right to participate in the reformation and reconstruction of our political foundation, which has suffered impunity, disrespect for the rule of law, and incapability of political leadership coupled with the abuse of power, weakness in recent administrations since democracy returned to Nigeria in 1999. It is therefore very historic for us, the youths of Nigeria, to mark such a day with dignity and value, which is also expected to be celebrated in all the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT across the, and across the world as a huge decision that must germinate into the world's biggest youth political tsunami, running across other African nations where democracy is insulted on a daily basis. We have asked INEC to remember that as the electoral body in charge of elections in Nigeria, they must provide the NYDP a solid playing field like they have provided to the PDP and the APC respectively in terms of registration and other values as the constitution provides. So we all, both the INEC, the NYDP, APC, who is the ruling party and the opposition party at the moment, the PDP, will be placed on the same operational ladder so that the 2023 general elections can enjoy a robust credibility which will surely provide integrity to the outcome of the 2023 elections result. Without the NYDP, the elections come 2023 is automatically declared as fraud. INEC must do the needful no matter what the case may be. And this is because the world knows that our nation is sitting on a gunpowder gun that can be exploded when the right things are not done at the right time in our politics. It is very clear that the policy is overheated and INEC must not allow itself to be the catalyst for the disrespect of the rule of our electoral 
laws come 2023. So therefore, we ask INEC to again do the needful in registering the NYDP as a political party to participate in the electioneering process like every other political party in Nigeria and save our democracy and politics from total breakage. We are Africa's largest people and it is clear that any crack on our democracy and politics will be an abuse of democracy not only in Nigeria but for the whole world and Africa beckons on the democracy of Nigeria to find a way out of every question that is caused by some of our aged and greedy African leaders who wish to remain in power even when they don't have the capacity to lead the people. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, we like to address the issue of the APC revalidation membership registration. We like to call on all Nigerian youths, both home and abroad, to disease. They should not join in registering themselves as APC members because they are already automatic members of the Nigeria Youth Democratic Party. We have our own political party now, so it will be fraudulent for any Nigerian youth to join a failed and a sinking ship. APC is already a political party in a coffin, looking for where to be buried anywhere in Nigeria. And we promise that as our youth to obey the rules of the coronavirus pandemic uh, activity, we we'll make sure you put on your masks, make sure you wash your hands, and make sure you do the distancing thing. Gentlemen of the press, finally, we thank you for coming. God bless the Nigerian press community for every support so far. We love and will never take you for granted. Thank you for the coverage you have done.